Hello and welcome back to another Brugly video. In this one, I'm going to be going over a banger level. This is Backrooms Level 80, also known as the Kogshin Highway. This is another kind of safe level in the lore. Well, not really. Um, it's not safe at all. I don't know why I said that. And there are some very scary and tragic things that you'll learn later on down this explanation. And if you want to hear those, stick around to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into it, shall we? Backrooms level 80 is the 81st level in the lore catalog, and it's been classified as a class 0 difficulty due to it being safe and secure and naturally devoid of entities and creatures. Kind of. The level appears as a two-lane highway that stretches out in both directions for a long time, eventually looping back onto itself after a random distance. Now, the distance of this loop will change depending on what person is sent here. Sometimes it can take around eight miles, sometimes it's just one mile. It really depends. Now, the road actually doesn't physically loop. It's not like a big racetrack or anything. It's completely straight. The way it does loop is its strange geometry will send you back to the beginning where you started after a certain amount of time. Traveling beyond this looping point is possible, but very unlikely, and I'll touch on more of that later. The road itself is located in the middle of a very cold and sparse desert basin. There is no human or other infrastructure in sight. No shacks, no telephone poles, just a flat, straight asphalt road going on forever. Entering the highway, walking on it, and staying there for you know, an unknown amount of time, you'll notice off to your right or left, the Himalayan mountain range will be visible. And these mountains are very far away, estimated to be over 25 miles away, and you really can't get to them, but they are there. And this is when the first strange thing in the level occurs. So if you enter this level from a place that puts you directly on the road, so that means if you take an entrance to this level that, you know, puts you right on the road, you will see the mountains to the left side. But if you take another entrance to the level that leads you through the desert, the mountains will be on the right side of the road, as if they move or something like that. It is unsure how this phenomenon works, and it's unsure how it even knows what entrance you take. But the level seems to be sentient somehow. The desert area itself is very sparse, very empty, and very dry. In fact, it's all those things so much that no plants even grow. Thus, no natural entities can survive here. Now, there have sometimes been seen entities walking around because any entity can no-clip like a human. If you didn't know, that's, that's possible. You could have a hound at level 100 and it just no-clips here by accident. So that's really the only thing you have to worry about as far as something trying to attack you. The level cannot be explored though, except for slightly off of the road sides because the mountains and everything off in the distance can't be reached. No matter how far you walk out towards them, you'll just keep looping and clipping back to where you started. The level has no day or night cycle and is stuck in a perpetual daytime zone. But even though it's the desert, and even though it's dry and barren in daylight, it is not hot at all. It is actually really cold. Freezing cold, to be exact. <laughs> Temperatures frequently get down to negative 26 degrees Celsius, which is negative 15 Fahrenheit, and they never get hotter than 1 or 2 Celsius, or 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's always right at freezing temperature, or it's right below freezing. And the temperature can shift almost instantly. It happens every so often, every few hours, and this makes it even more uninhabitable for people. Now, the level is not just this highway part or the mountains or this like desert road thing, because about two miles into walking on the highway, if you're chosen or if you're lucky enough, you'll likely come upon an abandoned settlement. Now, a signpost for this little town reads Negdel, N-E-G-D-E-L, and the text on that sign is painted in an unknown red liquid. I'm not sure if it's blood or it could be Kool-Aid for all I know. I don't know. The settlement itself is made up of different yurt and caravan style housings. So like wagons and white little tents and that kind of thing. That's actually pretty unique for the back rooms as far as it goes, because usually the abandoned towns you see and the shacks you see, they're not in this style. That's pretty interesting. Inside these yurts though, lies some tragic stuff. Over 40 decomposing corpses have been gathered from this small community and even more have been fully skeletons. All of them are in different stages of decomposition as well, which means it's really hard to see or say when they passed. Various items have been found around these yurts as well and inside the caravans, most of which seems to be very personal or very valuable to these people. 
These artifacts can be anything from a locket from the 1980s to things that have been estimated to be from the 12th century, which is weird because how could things thousands of years apart be right next to each other, right among these rotting people? What we do know though is that these artifacts and objects seem to have the look and the overall design as if they came from real life Central Asia. So this level seems to be connected to Central Asia somehow. The corpses here have to be avoided at all costs. Even though they're not alive, they've been decomposing, or some of them are even skeletons, you just don't want to catch any sicknesses or diseases that they might give off, and you don't want to spread them to others. So if you smell rot, if you see rot, and if you see these people, it is advised to not explore any further, as you don't want to find a body. It seems like the people are in a constant state, in a constant cycle even, of unaliving here inside this little town, since some bodies and skeletons are much more new than the old ones. It's unknown where the bodies come from, if it's directly from real life, but it's assumed that that's what happens. The following excerpt is from the Lost Colony inside of the Backrooms, which essentially is this group of people that has existed for hundreds of thousands of years inside the Backrooms, and their civilization is kind of advanced alongside humanity. These people know a lot, and they seem to actually have a big understanding of the Backrooms history, and this text from them is about this level. It appears that you have found the aging path. It was a secret we kept long hidden, removing it from our history, but alas, it came back to haunt us. We helped the ancient ones settle this place, not knowing what it could do. Even a part of us you never knew settled here. It was a grave mistake of ours. Do not make the same mistake as us, lest you face death once more after so long. So I guess that's the answer. You know, this level somehow causes you to repeatedly pass away over and over and like decompose over and over. And that's like a purgatory type thing. That's horrifying to think about. I'm just going to move on. Still, if you want to continue walking through this level, even past the town, that's when the loop happens. You'll get right past the town, you get looped back to the beginning, and you'll have to do the process over and over, ending and beginning over and over, getting trapped in this loop of time forever, where the level will age you until you end up as a skeleton on the ground. It's unknown how this level even possesses those properties, how it's that strong, or why it even does this. I don't know, and no one knows. But what we can assume is that it's very sentient or something is controlling it. To enter this level, you can be on level 9, and you can find a road that looks more dry and barren than usual, and walk onto it, and you'll end up here. To exit, you need to try to walk off the road towards the desert, and no clip into the border that you'll hit, and you'll be sent out directly to another level. Nice! So that was level 80. It's kind of similar to level X from the fandom, but with several noticeable differences, like the Asian culture impact and the strange locations of the rotting corpses. Anyways, this level is very unique, very strange, and I like that it's connected to real life. I always enjoy levels like that. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like for the old Brugster. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the growth the channels are seeing, Brugly Toogly and Spoogly. All of them are just insanely blowing up, and this is my fourth year doing this, and I'm so grateful for all your watching and all your supporting. Thank you so much for watching this hyperfixation that I've had for a long time. I'm really glad you all enjoy it, and I can't wait to keep making it over the years to come. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and with all that said, I'll see you in the next video.